Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 956. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 956 to 957, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, we want to look at the new Excel 2013 sheet function. Now, if you haven't gone and downloaded uh, the preview, here's the link to, pre to uh, get a free download. Now, I'm shooting this in August 1st. 2012 and it come the pre the final version will come out later sometime in 2013 but here it is the sheet function and I'll straight from help sheet returns the sheet number of the reference sheet that's what it says I'm thinking that it's more like sheet tells you the relative position of a sheet so if I use the sheet function here and say hey what's the relative position of the lookup diff table because that's the sheet name it'll give me one two three four the fifth uh, a num the number five because it's the fifth sheet uh, positionally. So I'm going to say sheet. Now sheet. Whoops. Actually, the the all you have to do is equals sh tab, and the sheet name has to be in double quotes. It actually has to be text. All right, and then it gives us a number five. Now it, sheet can also tell you the current sheet if you just leave it arguментless, right? So it says this is the fourth one, one, two, three, four. It can also look at table names. Now, when I first saw this, I said, oh, this is going to be great. I'll just type the table name, or later we'll see it can work on define names. I'll just type it in the cell, so equals sh. But that won't work, because that's text. And the sheet function is not going to be able to interpret a table name or a define name as text. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't make any sense. I wish they program it so they could see that. Because that might have some use in lookup formulas or something like that. All right, so you could use the indirect, right? Indirect, its sole purpose is to take a reference, whether table or define name or something like that, that is text and convert it back to a reference. That seems like overkill. I wish they would just provide just provided that functionality in the sheet. So there it is. It says sh the table is on sheet three and sure enough there is the table right there. We go up to design for table you can see that's the name of that table. Whoops. All right. However, so I don't want to use the indirect. Let's say we want to access that num that ordinal position of that table in the sheet. So I could just do SH and then type it out. Now I can see in this drop down that sales table, there's the icon for sales table. It's a little table, so I just type it in there. So sheet can interpret if you put it straight in as a reference. Notice for table names and define names, you're not going to put it in double quotes, but for sheet names, you are. So when I hit enter, it'll interpret correctly. All right, so sheet names, got to have those uh, double quotes to make sure it's text. All right, and Oh, this is a define name. So product one over here on this sheet, I have that little table and it says product one up in the name box. So I come over here and I want to know what sheet that's on. It, whoops. What did I type there? SG. That's how bad I am at typing. SH tab. And now I'm going to type product. And I can see there's a function named product, but here are the dog tags that say that's a defined name. So I simply select that. And again, defined names have to be typed in straight as a reference. All right, uh, I don't know. Can can anyone out there, maybe in the comment section, tell you what are some good uses for the sheet? I couldn't really think of any. Ordinal position, that sounds great. For example, we had these different lookup tables, right, on different sheets. And when you have different lookup tables, you have to use some fancy formula to access the different tables on different sheets. Uh, the, the way I usually do it is I use VLOOKUP, and then I look up the value, and then I use the choose function to choose. So the choose function here, it needs an index number, 1, 2, 3, for define name 1, 2, 3. And then you either have the value 1, value 2, value 3. So I used VLOOKUP to look up the actual name there, and then this is an array constant telling me 1, 2, or 3. I was thinking it would be great to use the sheet there, but it can't pick this up as text, right? Here's the formula it'd have to do there, and that seems 
uh, might as well use the VLOOKUP because sheet and indirect. Is sometimes indirect is volatile and that slows down calculations. Um, you know, in this situation, if you don't mind that volatile function, that's the way to do it. But I was thinking that the sheet function would help us with choose looking up different tables, but uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, doing that. Anyone have any good ideas of what the sheet function might do? All right, we'll see you next video.